Hey guys, this is my second video. I just wanted to talk about my MEPS experience. I went to MEPS October 18th to 19th, and the first day was the ASVAB. It was okay. I kind of froze up on the test, so I didn't do as good as I wanted to, but I didn't do bad. And then stayed at the hotel. Um, the hotel was cool. I had a cool roommate. She was going to the army, and she already knew her job, already knew everything, so I kind of like that about the army, that you already know your stuff. But for the Air Force, I have to wait. I still don't know, but it's okay. It'll happen eventually. Um, the second day, that was the physical. And you have to take urine, but you pee in front of somebody, which was kind of difficult. I don't even know why. I, yeah, it was kind of difficult. I froze up a few times. The nurse, I felt like she was getting really frustrated with me because I kept calling her like, I'm ready, I'm ready. Then she would come and I couldn't pee. And she's like, um, don't call me again until you can pee on yourself. They take your blood, um, hearing, eyes, it's a regular doctor's visit. They check your privates. They don't go inside at all. They don't touch you. If they touch you, they're doing something wrong. You spread them yourself. You have to spread your ass cheeks. You do that yourself, too. They don't touch you, except for the, for the females. They touch your breast to make sure there's no lumps for cancer. And also, um, some people say like people from MEPS are rude and give them attitude and it was bad and some people have horrible experiences. Mine, it was okay. I didn't have a problem with it. I met a few girls. It was like the whole MEPS. There was nine girls. I was only for the Air Force. Everyone else was Army, Navy. There was no Marines. Um, that was pretty cool. We talked the whole time, laughed. It was, it was chill. You know, it was nothing really bad going on. The workers there... There was one guy, one doctor, he had a bad attitude, but kill him with kindness, I guess. I really didn't care. I was there for one reason, to make sure I could swear into the debt program for the Air Force. That's all I cared about. It just got, it was just long. The process took literally all day. I was there from 6 a.m. to about 4 p.m. So it was a long day. It was worth it. I was happy, but it's tiring. And I was hungry. Because for the weigh-in, like, for the weight, I was right there. Like, I'm 5'5". Five five, that's what they put me at. And had to be 165. Or, no, I had to be 160. And I was 163. So I had to stretch and try and make myself seem taller so I could be put on 5'6", which I was. I got to 5'6". But it was just nerve-wracking. So I didn't eat breakfast that day. I was kind of like, oh, what am I going to do? I don't know. I was praying I could swear in, so I'm happy I did. Um, also, why I chose the Air Force. I want to go to the military, so I decided, you know, all four branches where I want to go. Air Force and Navy are my top two choices. I don't really have a specific reason why I was like, all right, these are my two branches. I could have tried for any branch, and I would have made it. Like, that wasn't a problem. I just, it's just what I wanted. I just chose the Air Force. Like, I almost went to the Navy. I was really close because the first recruiter I went to for the Air Force was an asshole. And it's not because he wasn't kissing my ass and, oh, we want you, we need you. No, it's because he was really just rude. I don't know what his issue was. Maybe he was having a bad day, but he almost lost one trainee right there. But luckily, went to a different Air Force recruiter. And this is my third one. My recruiter now, Sergeant Knapp. He's my third Air Force recruiter. He's the one I started my process with because he's, he's the one that my friend used. And he's professional. He's a great guy. I'm very happy that I was even able to swear in. Now I'm just anxious to find out when I leave. But I'm in Brooklyn and Hurricane Sandy happened last week, so a lot of things are slowing down. Now I'm going to blame that on what's going on, but a lot of people don't have electricity and water damage, so I don't know if the recruitment office got affected by that. So that's a problem. And also, today's election day, so please go out and vote. Whatever your choice is, go make it. I voted for Obama. Now I seem to say that. So go vote. It's your future. It's important. Please vote Obama if you want to, you know. Vote for Obama. Um, yeah, right now I'm just waiting. Like, I really pray I find out my date within, like, two weeks. I hope this month I can know what's going on because... I don't know. Like, my brother, like I said before, he's going to the Navy. He's leaving in May. And he has, like, a good seven months before he leaves. And I'm just anxious to hear when I'll finally say, you know, bye civilian life. Bye Brooklyn. Hello, Texas. And, you know, be ready to make this happen. Also, for MEPS, just whatever you do, just listen. 
because you can mess up. There's a lot of forms you have to fill out, read everything, and before you even write anything, they're going to tell you what to fill out. Don't mess up. Don't just see yes and no columns and go all the way down and scroll through. No, take your time and be patient because it's going to be a long day regardless. And if you mess up, you're making the day longer for yourself. So take your time, be patient. It's a good experience because you know everything you're doing is leading up to where you want to be. So, like, now I'm in debt. When you get into debt, just be patient for your date. Like, I'm still waiting. I've only been in night for a month yet. I just know I need to be patient because you're already soaring and it's going to happen. The military is a part of your future. So, be patient and just focus and stay out of trouble. Like, for the females, don't get pregnant. Why you end up? Don't do it to yourself because you're going to get in trouble and it's done. You can't even go to the military right now. For the guys, don't get any girls pregnant. And law, stay out of trouble with the law. Don't get arrested. Nothing with the cops. Stay away from the cops. Um, just stay out of trouble. The drugs, don't do it. And if you are waiting for a date like me, you don't know what's going on, it's your best bet. So seriously, don't slack off. Like, make sure you're working out. Make sure everything's good. Because they can call you and be like, um, you're leaving next month. And then you're just sitting there like, I put on 10 extra pounds. Now I gotta work harder. Or you're just screwing yourself over. So be patient. You know, like they say, hurry up and wait. Hurry that alive. Just listen to them, focus, and be respectful. And, yeah. guess that's really all I have to say for right now. Other than that, just... I don't know. I'm just really excited to hear who the president's going to be. That's what I'm really focused on. I really hope that Obama gets reelected. So, I'm just waiting for that to happen. So, it's just... Right now, my life is just a lot of waiting to see what's going on. So... Subscribe, comment, I like to hear from people. So I'll see you guys next update.